Well, Sokolgari is one of the more practical self-defense applic uh, throwing applications that we have. So it is very, very important in the context of throwing for self-defense purposes that Osoto Gari kind of has a foundational role for any frontal self-defense situation. Uh, really having a good, strong understanding of Osoto Gari beyond kind of just a formal grip or a sporting application is very, very important. So we're going to explore the formal throw first and foremost, and then we'll move into some self-defense applications. In Jukido Jiu Jitsu, when we're utilizing or practicing formal throws, we think about Kuzushi or the breaking of balance, and we extend that beyond just the moment of breaking of balance, but also the motion that leads into it. In Osoto Gari, generally we're breaking our balance, our partner's balance, initiating motion by pulling to our back rear corner on the right side. So if we were doing it as a clock, an overhead clock, his back going towards 12, my back going towards 6, this direction being 3, this direction being 9, I'd be pulling him to about 5 o'clock. So whatever method works best for you. If you're good with the 8 directions of off balancing, that's fine. If you like the uh, analogy of a clock, we're breaking towards 5 o'clock. As he rebalances and tries to recalibrate to center, we're going to break his balance by moving in and placing all of his weight on his rear foot, more specifically on his rear heel. Okay, so we want all of the weight to be on the heel of the foot. Of course, as that happens, as I pull down with the right, I allow my left to come up, and I make a switch as my left foot comes in. The objective with the left foot coming in is to have my left ankle line up with his right ankle. Okay, so if I'm a little bit uh, before that point or a little bit over that point, it may not be the end of the world, but generally from a formal throwing perspective, we want to be able to draw a line from my heel, excuse me, my ankle to his ankle. As I do that, I allow my right leg to slide in a little bit. So that means I don't want to step in with this foot and have my right leg stay back. This will put me in too low of a position just too, too low. So it's important that I step slide as I bring my partner off balance to his right heel. I also want to connect my shoulder deeply into his shoulder. So that means that although my partner, his head is coming beyond his base to the rear, uh, I'm actually pulling him into me. I'm not pushing him away at any point. I'm pulling him in. So I off balance by pulling forward, he reacts. As he reacts, I move in, lock this position, pull him into my body, my foot comes up and through his head. My head goes down as my foot comes up. Off balance, merge with his energy. Very important that there's not a delay in that process. So I don't want to off balance him, he comes back and then I enter. The idea is going to be to merge with his movement. As he comes back, I never allow him to get back to the center line position. So from this angle, off balance, as he comes back, I step slide, my left hand is pulling tightly to my left, okay? I almost think about bringing his ear into the direction of my ear. If I throw and both of his legs don't come up, what's likely happened is that his weight is remaining on this leg, the, non, the leg I'm not throwing. So that'll mean that this kind of action will happen. And now he may end up falling, but I really didn't have it uh, perfectly executed. I really want to position all of his weight on that leg. You'll notice that his far foot is starting to come off the ground. Now whether it actually does that or not, what I need to know and need to feel is his weight on this leg. If all of his weight or the majority of his weight is on this leg and I cut that leg out from underneath him, then he literally has no legs to stand on. So I bring all of my uke's weight or attacker's weight in self-defense all onto that heel. I don't wait here. We're waiting and just illustrating the technique, but in real time, it's one continuous movement. Your body motion is very important. 
Once we off balance him, we don't want him to recoup. Position your body, your sukuri, your positioning, such that you're positioning him in the weakest uh, body position possible relative to his ability to exert strength while you're positioning yourself in the best position possible to destroy this balance. Again, one more time, I'm off balance here. So again, I'm just trying to get Kuzushi by reaction. As I pull, he straightens right back up. That's the movement that I need to move in with. Move in, don't delay. Once you're in, you feel him off balance, chop that leg out. A common mistake is, again, I already addressed one, which is this leg is coming up, but your uke is able to remain standing on that leg. So we address that. Another is you attempt to throw the man in Osotogori, but his leg feels like a tree. He feels very rooted to the ground. If that's the case, then that means he has too much weight in the middle of his foot. Essentially, he's too flat-footed. We need to make sure that the weight really is coming onto the heel. You'll see from this perspective that my partner, his toes are almost coming off the floor here. And that's a good sign. That's a very, very good sign. That means that his weight is not only on his right side, but it's coming back to the, to the right corner. It's less about leaning him backward in this sense, less about leaning him backward. And, and although there is some degree of backward leaning, it's more about leaning him over. We want to make sure our ankle bone across from the ankle bone, our hip close to the hip, our shoulder to the shoulder. When we execute, we're looking for a full leg connection. Calf, uh, excuse me, calf on calf, the hamstring or the thigh on his thigh. When we reap, we also want to make certain that our foot is not coming through the middle equally between both feet. We're making sure that since we place weight on this leg, this being the right leg, that we're cutting to the inside of that leg. So we're very heavy uh, in our, in our uh, follow through on this leg. Certainly not through the middle and not through, certainly not on the outside over here. Oops. 